dust this swag off one more time. Ooh, oh my gosh. Oh, are you serious? Check that out. Welcome to the Crystal Collector. Today, we're checking out a metal called bismuth. I've been sitting around kind of bored like the rest of you guys, and I decided to order some of this stuff offline. And, you know, I've never done this before, but apparently you can melt it down, and as it recools, it will crystallize and make these awesome crystals that have all kinds of iridescent colors. It's going to be awesome. Let's get her done. So bismuth is actually on the periodic table of elements. It's its own element. It's 100% pure right here. In order to get these crystals, it's got to be pure. So we're going to go ahead and start melting this down. So to make this happen, I'm using just a standard Coleman stove. And I've got a stainless steel pot here. And I ordered this uh, insulated, uh, this is like a ceramic blanket. It's like insulates the heat so it doesn't escape that quick and what the purpose of that is if you can keep this insulated and this bismuth cools slow you'll get bigger crystals i've never done this but we're going to see what happens up close you can really see the silverish color especially when they're broken down they have an awesome luster check that out so i gotta heat the stove up let's get it going fire it up So in order for this metal to break down, I've got to break it down. No, no, not that kind of breakdown. I've got to break the metal down so that we actually get more of a surface area and it'll melt quicker. So I better put on these safety glasses. You can kind of do both, I guess, a little breakdown. So you can see I've broken these up into some smaller chunks, which will help it melt a lot quicker. So let's get her done and put them in there. I'm gonna put these first. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and dump some of these in. You can see already, wow, check that out. It's already starting to melt instantly. I better go ahead and start putting this other in. Oh man, this is gonna be fun. You can see it's starting to melt pretty good, but we've got maybe another few minutes to go here. It is now potato soup. And when you're getting really close to stuff like this, it's really hot. You probably want to wear even better gloves than this. I don't even know if this would protect me. Maybe leather gloves would have been the better choice. So really be careful, you guys. You see I'm wearing safety glasses. We've got a little light wind, so it's keeping these fumes off of us. Stuff like that, you gotta be aware of. So it's been a while, maybe 20, 30 minutes. I'm gonna stir it up to see, look at that. Beautiful. I don't know. I'm going to have to go down in here. Yeah, we are ready, I think. I don't feel any big pieces. So I'm going to get this slag off. This is something very important because you don't want this stuff. This is the impurities as it was uh, just heating up and stuff. So we're going to get as much of that off as possible. We're going to go ahead and turn off the stove. And that will start the cooling process. Like I say, this is my very first time. I don't think we're gonna get really large crystals because this, this pot is only so deep. But we're definitely gonna get some crystals, I feel like. So let's get this slag out of here. Look at that. So we're gonna get this rest of this slag off one more time. Seems like I've seen guys do this a couple times as it cools at least. And look at that, instantly turning that beautiful iridescent colors. Pretty amazing, huh? Let's go around and get all this slag, and it's gonna start to cool. 
And now all we do is pretty much wait. So as this is melting, I'm not even sure how long I need to wait, but we're gonna do some testing. And the guy that was showing me this stuff like 10 or 12 years ago that I can sort of remember a few details he did, he had some uh, like clothes pins or something. I don't have any clothes pins. So I'm gonna take these small staples and as this cools, I'm gonna just place some on the top and maybe that'll start like a seeding process for a couple of crystals to start growing downward. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. It hasn't been long, so I'm going to use these tweezers and just see if this will float. Okay, it does float. So, you can see it's burning, it's causing a little bit of oxidation, but that's okay. Just be around the base. So I'm going to just place couple of those and what I think is going to happen is that metal will help the air to transfer and maybe create some crystals. I'm not going to put it on this side just as a test factor. It's kind of just testing it out so we'll see what happens and you know wait a few seconds do some sloshing around. I have no idea what I'm doing necessarily. Here we go. You can see I don't know if it's if I should pull this off yet but I'm going to go ahead and try it. You can see here where that has created a solid piece. Now it might be too flat, I'm not sure. Maybe I should wait a little bit longer. Tell you what, let's pull one of these edge ones just to get an idea. Okay, yeah, we definitely need to let them go for a lot longer. You can see though, it did form some nice crystals and it's turning, you can see the color? Kind of see a little color change. It's turning like a neat blue to purple. We'll get some better pictures of these when they're all nice and cooled down. So this one is turning out okay, but I think we need to wait a couple more minutes. I have no idea. This is my first time experimenting, but I think if we wait a little bit longer, those crystals will grow down some more. So we'll see. And that little crystal turned out to be pretty sweet. You can see the formation there. Still the melted look from not really knowing how to flip them all too perfect yet, but we're getting there. All right, we're gonna start pulling some of these out. Matter of fact, okay, this one's, I don't know, we, let's hope it went down. It might just be a big flat piece, but it's gonna be cool. Either way, oh, I dropped it. I gotta get it out of there. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I'm no good at this. Oh, I didn't do it in one flip. All right, let's try this one. Well, those are pretty neat, but you can see the color change as they're cooling. That one did okay. You can see as I pulled it out and sloshed it around, I believe that's what made it have that sort of a melted appearance. If I could have pulled it out in one motion, you know, just boom, I think would have had a little bit better formation. But for my very first one, not too bad, still learning. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is, the reason why I brought this out here, set this down here, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna pour out the part that's still unmelted. Boy, that's heavy. All right, so we're gonna slowly pour that out. Okay. And now, really quickly, we're going to put this over here. This one having some really epic formations, as you can see there. These are also called hopper crystals because of the formations that they exhibit. All right, so the first batch went okay. We got a couple of crystals as you see, but we had to go ahead and melt that batch down and try it again. So I'm just getting the slag off the rest of this and then we're gonna let it cool. Maybe we'll get some better crystals, we'll see. I'm going to place 
this down instead of, uh, there you go, perfect. And hopefully that will create some sort of imbalance and we'll start some crystals growing. All right, so I think this thing's ready. We might get a big piece here. It might be stuck to the bottom, but we're gonna see. So for this round, I came up with a new method. Okay. Okay, looks like I can get right underneath here. If this thing flips, I have a feeling it will be good. All right, it's not gonna flip. So what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and pour it off because I feel like we'll have some good crystals. I think you gotta make these pours quick. And just one pour. Yes, I think we've got it this time, y'all. Oh my goodness. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. I think this is the one. Oh yeah. It's like a bismuth city in there. Check that out. So we're gonna just set this down really easy. I'm gonna let it cool. And I have a feeling some of these are gonna be really, really neat. So you can see here, it's already starting to cool and it's getting the colors. We've got some really nice colors on this side. I'm not sure how this side's doing. Maybe it's not cooled yet. Maybe they're just gonna be silver, but I need to let it cool down. Maybe, I don't know, half an hour or so. And then we'll see what these crystals on the other side of that is gonna look like. Yeah, okay. So there's an idea, you guys. I'm just kind of like torquing this down back and forth. You can hear it's kind of like, maybe, back up a little bit, Matrix Boy. Maybe it's separating the sides. I don't think this one's going to come off like the last one. Back it up. Ooh, oh, my gosh. Oh, are you serious? Check that out. And it did have some decent crystallization. I think what we're seeing here, see the kind of like the watery looking metallic areas where it's kind of smooth. I think that's when you're pulling them out, it kind of smooths over. So we'll have to figure that out. Sure, I've seen lots better, but that's pretty neat, you know? I mean, check that piece out. It's really beautiful. I think on the next batch, I'll figure out how to pull these out in one motion. And I don't think you'll get this melted look. I think you get a much better crystal structure, but I am super pleased with the way this turned out. So let's see what else we got in here. Okay, I believe that's it. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, it came out perfect. Check that out. Not bad, not bad. You can see the pretty cool crystal formation. <laughs> it just hoppered up. So this one didn't really get all the crazy colors, but it's still a beautiful gold color with some blues and greens and a really nice hopper crystal formation. Kind of a dud there, that's really thick. I mean, it is cool, it does have some crystals, but it's kind of thick. I think I'd rather reuse that. Let's see what we got here. And the reveal. What? It is cool, but like I say, it's really heavy. There's a lot of bismuth here. I think this would be better off reused and recycled. This could be cool here, though. This is the, toward the center. Ooh, kind of neat. We have really small crystals, but probably will reheat that. I might try to break that one off. Let's see here. This stuff breaks easy like that when it cools down. So, let's see here. I'm gonna reuse most of that. But check that out, you can just break off a chunk if you like it. And that's nice and thin, it's not taking up too much of my bismuth material. You can see even these small ones are pretty cool. 
believe I'll keep these for sure. You don't want to remelt some nice crystals. You can really see the cool colors of all sorts. The iridescent making up beautiful arrangements here of the bismuth. I mean, some of these colors are just epic. And you can see these actually turned out pretty neat. They have kind of a melty look, which is not really what we're going for, but I have to say it's still beautiful. And you can see the wild colors probably gonna end up just melting this back down, but I'll tell you, the colors are really spectacular. What? Really neat stuff, you guys. I definitely suggest if you're gonna do this, wear your safety glasses, wear gloves. You gotta be very careful. You're melting hot metal in the several hundred degree temperature range. So you don't want any splash back. Be very safe, be very careful. You guys stay safe out there with all this stuff going on as well. Thanks for watching. We're gonna do a part two of this, maybe in a couple weeks. I'm gonna get way more bismuth and we're gonna do it the bright way and we're going to get some awesome huge bismuth crystals next time thanks for watching to help and support this channel please like and share and we sure do love your comments thanks for watching